Good afternoon, this is Simon Browning, and in this video we are going to demonstrate, I am going to demonstrate, how to export the results of a survey in Typo3 that uses the PV survey module. You can see on your screen the Community Care East York website, which has a small sample survey on it right now, just three questions. If you saw the previous video, which was how to add questions, you, can, you know how easy it is to add or remove or modify questions to a survey. You can have as many questions as you want, it could be multiple pages, etc. In this case, we just have a small three-question survey for sample purposes. Let's say my favorite color is red, my best friend is Bob, and it's because he has um, a nice house. And let's hit submit, and our response has gone in. Now, by default, I'm now being emailed that response myself as the administrator. That's optional. That can be turned off, as well as being emailed the response is put into the database so that we can export the entire result set at once, which can be very handy for analysis purposes. So to do that, I need to log into the back end, and I'm already in the back end, so let me bring up the screen here. Here we go, and you can see I'm in page view looking at the back end of the CCEY website. And uh, now I'm logged in as a full administrator, so I have the full admin menu on the left. Let's go and click on our page called Survey 1. That's where that survey is stored, and we're going to use the module called Questionnaire. Now that module has appeared because we've installed the survey module. And what we're going to see now over here is an overview of the results from the survey on that page. And we can see there's been 15 finished responses, zero unfinished, 15 in total. Now unfinished responses is really only relevant if you have a multi-page survey. If you have a single page survey, the system's not going to know if a survey was abandoned or not. There's the questions that were on it. To export the results, what I want to do is I want to use my drop-down here and switch to export results. And now I get a series of fields that I can fill in to tell the system how to export my results. Pretty much the defaults are okay, and that's what I'm actually going to use, but let's just quickly run through them. I can export all the rows, or I could specify only certain rows. Maybe I just want to see the first five responses. And I would do that. Or I could include only unfinished responses, but again, as we know, there's no unfinished responses on this one because it's a single page survey. By default, it's going to separate the fields by commas. It's going to create a comma separated file, which we can open in Excel, but we could also tell it, you know, separate it by tabs or semicolons or spaces, etc. Uh, some output format options, what to do with blank answers. If the user was logged into the website and had some information stored in the system, we could also get it to pump that out into the spreadsheet as well. And so on. So down at the very bottom, we have save as, and it's got a default file name filled in, which I think combines the date and time. Yes, it does. We could change that to be something else if we wanted to. When we're happy with it, we just hit save and we're going to get the open or save dialog. I could save the file somewhere, but in this case, I'm just going to hit open and it's going to pop it into Excel for me. There we go. Let's just spread some of these out a little bit. And we can see here we have the results of the survey. So there's a unique identifier with each survey that was submitted. There's the IP address of the person who did the submitting. That's all me. Uh, start and end times for the surveys and then all the different fields. Favorite color, who's your friend, and tell us about your best friend. So any fields that have been entered will be in here. And there you go. That's how you can export the results from one of the surveys. On our site, the demo.ca, which is somewhere over here. I've lost it now. There it is. Uh, we have uh, an example of another survey and this tutorial, as well as the previous tutorial, tutorial which is how to add questions. And if you do have any questions, we have a feedback form which you can fill out to let us know, and we'll help you out if we can. Thank you very much. Have a great day.